So recently I shot a video on my favorite Android launchers that you can download for your Android phone in 2019. And at the end of that, I invited you beautiful, sexy people to basically call me a dingleberry and point out your own personal picks if I missed them out. And boy, did a lot of you take me up on that offer. So a big, big thank you if you left me a recommendation. I've gone through all of those comments now and I've tried out a lot of those launchers that you guys bigged up. And here is my pick of the top five from those comments. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, if you're all about customization, but you don't want a launcher that is dramatically different from just your stock vanilla Android, then Hyperion is definitely worth a blast. At first glance, there's little to distinguish Hyperion from the Pixel launcher, but like Nova and some of the other launchers that I featured in my best of round at part one, there's some impressive depth here once you dive under that shiny surface. All of the features that you'd expect are packed away in the settings, including some smart gesture support for easy one-handed use, plenty of control over the UI theme, including the color schemes, animations, and icon presentation, the ability to add folders to your app store, and basically so much stuff that I couldn't even possibly go into all of the loveliest bits right here. And best of all, it is a silky smooth experience. But note though that to unlock all of those lush Hyperion features, including the full gesture support, you will need to stump up the sum of £1.79, not exactly a bank break in asking price. Next up on this roundup of the best new Android launchers 2019 is Niagara, a launcher which offers a very different style of presentation to basically declutter your desktops. This streamlined approach basically gets rid of all those grids of apps and instead you get a short list of your favorites. Although your other apps can also be quickly opened using the Cascade and A to Z index. After spending some time with Niagara, I think I might actually prefer the system to hiding everything away in an app store. It is very neat and efficient. Niagara makes life easier in other ways as well. So for instance, if you play music or an audiobook, some handy media controls will appear right there on the desktop for fast access. You can swipe right on any app to check out any waiting notifications or jump straight to certain features, while a swipe down will open the notifications tab. You do get some simple customization in Niagara, including a choice of light, dark, or ultra dark theming for the settings panel. However, the UI is basically very straightforward, so there's not actually that much to tweak here. Overall, if you want something that's quick and simple to use, then Niagara is pretty bloody wonderful. Another launcher that really spices things up is the Smart Launcher 5. Rather than furnishing you with a standard app store, this time you get all manner of options for finding what you need. You can add two rows of your favorite apps to the main desktop, while a swipe right reveals the rest of them all split into preset categories. Alternatively, swipe up and you'll open the Smart Search panel, which helps you to find contacts as well as any apps. Swipe right and you'll open up a widgets page, while swiping down drags down a news feed powered by Microsoft News, which unfortunately is pretty limited in its customization. And thankfully, all of these different pages can be rearranged or even removed entirely from within the Smart Launcher settings, so you can basically set up your handset however you like. The layout definitely does take a bit of getting used to, but there's plenty to love after that adjustment period. For one, I do really like the stylish custom icons, which can be allocated to your favorite apps. Predictably, you can change the shape and the size of the icons or replace them entirely if you're not a fan. And if you spunk up the rather hefty £5.49 for the Pro version, you get even more customization options. However, I did notice that the small launcher was a little bit stuttery at times here on the Galaxy S10 Plus, which definitely detracted from the overall presentation. If you really want to go to town and basically design your own UI from the ground up, then Total Launcher is the one for you. This cheeky little number allows you to add shortcuts, widgets, and design elements to your desktops with incredible precision and level of customization. Each element can be redesigned, pinned in place, and basically set up however you like, while every other aspect of the desktops can also be tweaked in the settings. Crafting your own masterpiece is definitely time consuming and can be a wee bit fiddly, but no other launcher I've checked out offers this depth of design. And the good news is lots of people who are clearly a lot more patient and talented than myself have added themes for the Total Launcher to Google Play, and some of them are seriously original and impressive. Like the Smart Launcher, this one can be a bit janky at times, and occasionally you'll notice a wee little bug, like the wallpaper settings completely changing your selection on its own account. But overall, this is one of the best choices for anyone who loves total control. Last up is the lovable Yandex, a launcher that doesn't exactly break conventions just like Hyperion, but does offer up a smart looking and very smooth experience. The presentation is enjoyable and user-friendly, with a logically laid out home settings menu that isn't overly complex. You can tweak quite a lot of the elements of the UI to some degree, and even swap out that app tray icon for a kitty cat, which immediately wins this thing five stars. <coughs> That said, Yandex's theme section could definitely do with a bit of love, considering it's April and there's no World Cup action for another three years. I do like the way that Yandex sorts your apps though, you can split these up according to your most favorite categories or even based on the color of the app icon. There's also a half decent and highly visual news feed with a much better selection of sources than Smart Launcher. The whole package runs really well, helped along by the fact that Yandex can quickly call apps that you're not actively using. 
So that right there is five of the best launches that you guys recommended in the comments last time around. Again, thanks very much for commenting it. And if you are new to TechSpert, please do poke subscribe and do that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.